G'day and welcome back to the Pillars of Ranternity. We have just chatted with a vampire who is uh, who gave us a quest to basically kill everything on this level, which we were already going to do. So sounds like a pretty good deal. Um, it looks like he has the ability to use Adra to sustain himself, which makes a lot of sense. And this is also why I had to do Heritage Hill first. Otherwise, I wouldn't speak him with him and I wouldn't be able to chat with him. But that then makes some of the other things that the um, Engwithins did make a lot more sense. If they had a way of transferring essence that didn't involve cannibalism, um, then it becomes a lot less, you know, monstrous. Okay, now, you guys go over there. And you keep stabbing. And can you go over here, say? And Palagina, yep, you keep stabbing. Never stop stabbing. And hit with this. And then everyone kill the last one. Uh, you can knock this guy over. Yeah, look at that. Nice. And they're dead. We've now completed learning about the uh, Adra Beetle. Leave really should look me. at the vestry more. Ah, here's our master staircase. So now let's see what we can see of the Titan. Come on. Ah, right. Just have to click and drag. So there's one arm upraised. There's his arm down here. And then here's his other arm. Neat. And look, there's like a little chamber off to the side there. You can see parts of the level design in this. That's really cool. And we're on level 8 of a fair number. It was really interesting watching this as a Kickstarter. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Um, stop. Thank you. Slowly now. Well spotted. Literally just in time. Well, I'll take these Gaze of Adrigan traps. Okay. Alright, now let's see. If we head down here. Right, this is kind of where we started. There's a skull pile. Because, and this was a major concern I had when listening to the pitch. Let's I don't actually think that a big, a big old dungeon is a great time when it comes to playing games most of the time I would rather like see a mix of things summon good oh that's inconvenient um do you want to just to get blind doggle and then I will hit you with this it's a mark knock that jerk down Uh, Durance, do you want to just uh, beam it up? Nice, 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 nice. Summon. Get in the way. You two stab this. In fact, you all. Except for you. You do this, and then do this, and then this. And Itamark, you knock him down again. And you guys attack this jerk. Hey, what? Oh, I know why. Because your weapon got changed out. Ah, that makes sense. It's kind of annoying that you change weapon as soon as you lose track. Come, get dead. Can't get a good shot with this. Alrighty, done. Hey, there we go. The Warlockbound Club. Now I've just got to do the weekend thing, which means hit, hit people repeatedly. I have a really dumb idea. 
really dumb. So, um, just I, say the word. I just, I just want to check if this works. I'm really sorry to Mark, because this is somewhat monstrous. Yeah, crush, deep wounds, dirty fighting. Any chance of it? Itamark's regenerating. So the question is, has this cast affliction on hit or critical hit? 10% chance. I'm not seeing it get triggered. And there is a reason why I keep doing this, why I'm picking on Itamark here. And that's because he's got basically unlimited endurance, as far as I'm aware. Either that or I can't see it. So, you know, effectively. But I'm pretty sure that it just literally can't cast that spell. Yeah, okay. In which case, I'll just deal with it the normal way, which is to say, hit things okay, until they die. What's in here. Sorry, Itamark. That'll do it. Okay, I'll take your stuff. Thank you. Now, this Leave it to me. machine itself remains inert and lifeless. But that does look like a typical Glenfathen machine. There's nothing around here. Okay, cool. Then let's go down south. Yeah, I thought that might be the case. Okay. What can we do here? We can shoot. Another vampire, which is what we're truly trying to kill. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, everyone by you. Stop sneaking. Just say the word. Now. I need you word. to kill this jerk. Okay, good. That worked out well. You attack this one, and everyone else is going to continue with your assigned targets. Oh, Moravius, you've been charmed again. What is it Just with you and getting charmed? Alright, fine. Turn around. Hit him. Good. Um, do I have anything? Ah, uh, yes. I could do this. Why not? You guys, deal with him. Everyone else, take out Bam. Oh, nice! Suddenly, skeleton robes. Okay, attack this. Um, you know what? This only targets enemies. Nice. Give me your stuff. Um, heal up. There we go, that's the one I wanted. Crucible of the Soul! Give me... There we go. Great. And then you die. Deal! 47. Nicely done, Itamar. And then we take this stuff. Quiet as a calm sea, which Don't is care. Not very quiet. Yep. That's a good quote. It um is there anyone else left? I don't think so. Yeah, I think we've killed everyone. So I think we should just be able to head back. I'm just gonna double check over here. Because I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, we did get that box. So out of curiosity, can I read these things? No. 
I may kind of speaking with him, but not that well. Alright, cool. So those things are all dead. So now we go and chat with uh, that the vampire over here. What are Kana's chants again? Um, I don't remember what chant he's using. Or oh, whatever. We're not running into Just enough see. problems with fights at the moment for it to be a big deal. Alright. So, you. Uh, I wanted to chat with you? Can I? Ah, oh, there. It's done. Well, I, is it done? I heard a commotion. It's done. They're dead. Ha! Huh, good. Very good. Hmm. He touches a hand to his mouth, brows knitting and then laughs. Yes, it's all mine now. No more of this screaming. No need for any more pointless demonstrations of power. Go on then. Go barreling down into the deep if you like. If the beetles don't make a quick end of you. Beetles? Voracious little devils. They're what caused this whole mess. You can kill one easily enough, but there's a great swarm of them chewing through the Adra. My Adra. There's only the arm now. In any case, they'll tear you apart just as easily as they do the crystals. More easily, actually. I got some questions. Yes, yes, I said you could have some qu answers. What's in it? Who are you? Did you want a name? I forgot those ages ago. Who's gonna call me anything down here? There's me, and now there's just you. That's all that matters. I was entrusted with the tests we performed here. The most, the foretold, uh, sorry, no, the foremost who taps the temple, mind of the age. None could rival me for Archean power, save Odinur himself, and perhaps some of his advisors. And um, what was this place? Oh, many things. Our home once, and before that, a place of great deeds. Those fouled chambers in there were once a site of incredible discoveries. We were given the bulk of the, this floor. There was construction at all hours, of course. For all our work was, of course, for, for our newest purposes. Think on it. A dozen sculptors carefully crafting a fingernail. Souls flung from their shells on the floors above and below. All while Idris fusses over a cuticle. What kind of experiments were you doing? Why, we were preoccupied with matters of the soul. All of us were, because Odd Noor was. But here we toiled to find the dividing line between life and death, and crack it wide open. We were attempting to find a means of binding souls to their mortal vessels, preventing them from crossing the shroud, and I say attempting. We found, of course. A dozen minds set to a purpose, how could we not? The things we learned, a glorious time, we could remember, we could determine the precise manner in which a soul would crack and shatter. We would carefully place a fragment from one into another. While our fellows wasted their efforts on phenomena like blights, we delved into the, right into the heart of the matter. There were certain gaps in our knowledge, of course. Perhaps I was over-enthusiastic in my pursuits. I thought that if anyone could attempt a more personal approach to the tests, it should be me. And no amount of certainty will make him the imbibing of a poison pleasant experience. Death is the ultimate test, you see. If the soul has flown, then you know you've failed. Your work sounds similar to Adamancy. Like what? Perhaps others follow in our footsteps. I've not had the opportunity to keep up with the state of magical study. He smiles thinly. Have you stayed alive all this time? The big question. Binding a soul to its body was not, as it turned out, very difficult. You were certain we'd found a kind of immortality. The body could be destroyed beyond repair, but anything less is quite survivable. I was eager to attempt it. My leg at the time pained me terribly. Old war wound. And I had heard one subject describe a sense of distance from the pain inflicted upon them. They felt it, but it didn't matter to them, which would be a vast improvement. I remember the first moment. The relief. But we found that after some time, the body would remember that it was, after all, dead. There's really no describing what it feels like to see your own fingers rotting away. He makes a face. The smell. We tried to revive the affected subjects with energy culled from their fellows. It worked well enough. I was able to refine the spell work, keep myself and others who joined me as hale as ever. Odd Noah wasn't terribly pleased with the distraction, but it turned out not to matter. The mob came and murdered him, and we were sealed in here for the rest of, with the rest of his tools. We still had the Adra, you see. And enough souls housed in there to feed us for, well, as long as we wished. And so we had a time of it, we did. We were able to preserve the furniture over the years. We had little meetings in the grand chamber. What a nice little family we were. His grin fades until it had to end. What happened here? Here? You mean with them? The Adra? All of it? That's a long tale and my patience has diminished with time. I'll tell you what happened recently. It was the Adra Beetles. Oh, you wouldn't think it was something so small, so mundane, but they came swarming up from the lower reaches and started to feed on the live Adra. Go on. We tried to fight them off, of course, but it was impossible. Kill one or and two more are behind it. Something. Something must have driven them up here. I don't know what. 
but they all have amputated our adrenaline. Not enough power, not enough to support all of us. Not us, not us and the rooms and the tapestries, everything. But enough for me. None of the others knew the spells required. They are, their only part in it was simply to lie in the Adra coffins and be revived by me. So it was an obvious choice, wasn't it? No more of that, no more of anything. I swore I'd burn them all to kindling if they came near. Fortunately, you made that unnecessary. How could you do that to your companions? You're soft-hearted. Considering it was you to put an, who put an end to their immortality, they weren't anyone's friends. They would have licked the brains out of your cracked skull if they could. There wasn't enough life to go around, that's all it was, and 2,000 years is a lot... Uh, is more than long enough to get to know someone. Think on it this way. You've set them on their way, and they will live again in time. Isn't that a comfort? I'm looking for the master below. Do you know who that is? Here? You mean with them? The Adra? All of it? That's a long tale of my patience. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. Blah, blah, blah. Tried to fight him. Um... Can you tell me about Odnua, our great lord, a wise man in his day until his son was lost? An accident, some un small unfortunate turn of fate. You have to come. You have come but a little way past the sealed chambers. You must know by now that Odnua did not take it well. This monument to his grief has outlasted him. But his madness provided opportunity, a promise of immortality for all of us. If it was found at the behest of a grieving father, what did it matter? He had a flock of devoted servants. For we had to find the soul in question, to bring it back from whatever it had gone to, to house it somewhere suitable, indicates a statue, and such discoveries have costs, something the rabble didn't understand. I have no more questions. Very well, good to stretch the vocal cords, I have to say. I'll be going then. Give my regards to the dead when you see them. The man chuckles darkly. Hey, Palagine is leveled. So you can go with more athletics. What does athletics do exactly? It boosts second wind and scripted interactions. So I think I would probably put some into survival then as well. Okay, greater lay on hands means that she will heal better. Or we could do with modified zealous focus to be better. Modifies faith and conviction. Modifies sworn enemy. Flames of devotion. Twice per encounter, you just instantly um, boost everyone's attack speed. I see. I think I'm going to go with critical focus. Next. Done. Alrighty. Now, where are we headed? Down. Right? I'm on the trail. Ah, this is the other path. Oh look, there's beetles. What's up, beetles? Alright, now, um... Oh right, I can't cast a spell with him. Uh, Heravius, would you be so good as to cast Firebug? Following your lead. <laughs> nice! Nice, 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 nice. Uh, Hervius, can you not... Whenever you get confused, you change what you're using. And I don't like it. Come on, kill it before it gets to cast lightning. Close, but no cigar. Okay, cool. Dead. And then we take your things. I said we take your things. And now we head down. Level 9. What do we have down here? Margarine's fire casts light in dark places. Okay. Adra's turned a dull shade of crimson. Entire sections of it. Well, this is going to be more Adra beetles, right? Probably. Let's just uh, go around the edges somewhat. Okay, that is not an ideal sound to be hearing. And that blocks off. Okay, what on earth are you? Uh, spiky.
Yeah, so you just take damage as long as you're on there. Hmm. I'm ready. So, couple of things. Nice. Walking shadows, so that's gonna make their oh plus three stealth, fine. Can't pick that. Here's a key. I wonder Thought that might be the case. Another key. Can I lay on hands myself? Okay, a unique spear, cool. That is a weird room. I think we might want to rest. After all that. Leave it to me. Oh, yuck. Oh, right, I see. Pathing. Yep, yeah, alright. We're gonna rest. After all that. Okay, now let's see. I'm just gonna go with. Um, plus two move speed. I'm just gonna go with damage reduction right now. Don't know what we're gonna face. I think it's just time to nap. Since I just made everyone walk over really spiky floors. Quiet. What the heck are you? A Vithrak. Okay. Just say the word. Get on. Nice. Okay. What on earth is a Vithrak? Bestiary. Um, it is kind of wilder, but um, ah, uh, there. Extremely rare and dangerous creatures, mostly humanoid. Spider. They're spider people. They are spider people. Got it. They do not like humanoid people. Okay. Just say the word. What? Oh. Not what I can can we not do that? I meant by trying up others. I'm on it. Just say the word. Understood. That'll do. Oh, hi there. Do it. Leave it to me. Can you stop being charmed already? Two minutes. Not two minutes. Two seconds. Right. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Right. Spider person. Let's kill another spider person. What does the flame reveal? Crystal Eater. Immunity to web, beast and wilder. Okay. So. What have we got that will be fun to use right now? Uh, so. You can't cast any spells yet. You could potentially open with a spell. Oh yes. You monsters. Never mind. Let's just murder this thing. Yep, good. Um let's see. If you blind this thing. Oh nice. That'll do it. 
Oh, it had a venom sack, right? It looked like a pear. No problem. What's in here? A broken blade. Ah, that would be part of our sword quest. Okay, found the ornate hilt. Both halves of the broken blade and a hilt. Um, so, what else do we need? I'm assuming, like, pummel, maybe? Yes, do not mix up venom sacks and pears in your inventory. Thank you for that, Mangle Pixel. Alright, how about we do Holy Radiance? And a bit of the old denouncing. Um, and maybe a bit of the old this. Oh wow, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Um, I should change off of... yeah. No, the matters. They're dead. Leave it to me. What do you have? You got youthful spirits. Um, okay, cool. So just a, a skill boosting scroll. Okay, I think we've nearly circumnavigated the level. So that's good. Hey, look, it's little spiders. I'm gonna kill you, little spider! Hey, no, no, no. Everyone kill this. Except for you, who needs to unstealth so you can kill it. How about you blind him? Perfect. Now, what I need you to do is to kill this guy. Now, you. This. Okay. Now, um, oh, poor Itamark. I guess this is not helping. Now, if you can just do this, and you. Could you just move this way, and then, then maybe. dog. I mean, it's not a dog, it's a wolf. I keep forgetting that. Okay. Okay. Could we do a bit of the old condemnation while you kill this thing? And we kill this thing. Poke it. Poke it good. Poke it again. Poke it. Yes. Oh. Sagani. Do you have a thing that could fix this? Instilled out. No. Fortify. No. Repulsing seal. No. No. Suppress affliction. What? Did you just stop? And then the fight word. ends. There we go. And then you can get up. Good. Just say the word. And that wouldn't have worked when Durance was the one afflicted. Just say the word. Because he can't exactly cast it on himself now, can he? Right, so there's our entrance to the next level. Which we're not going to do. We're just going to finish encircling this level. Hey, look. It's a spirit. Such shade. Oh, that's more of them than I anticipated. Hey, Heravius. Do you have anything cool to do? Uh, rut skulls. No. Sunlance. How about you shade him? Nope, wait. I think that's got a fairly limited range. Oh, no. Maybe not. 
Wow! Love it! Okay. Insurance, buddy, pal, mate. Huh, you're helping? I have not anticipated this outcome. Just die, would you? Thank you. I think various people are going to fall over in a moment. Yeah. Okay, if I second wind right now... I have them. Yeah, everyone attack her. I don't care if she's temporarily seen as friendly. She's an enemy and needs to be killed. Thank you. Don't know who's changing her to our side in this scenario. Ooh, that's Sunlands though. Great. Okay, what do we got? One more room, more beetles and an ooze and... okay. Okay, right. Let's get in there. Sigani, go back to using a bow, please. Uh, now the other thing is, Durance, uh, can you just drop a rock on these guys? Uh, Kana, you can't cast anything just yet. Heravius, uh, what have you got? You got this, right? Horavius, were you casting that spell or not? <sighs> Sometimes, Horavius. Alright, so they're immune to that a little bit. You guys just kill this thing. Oh. It's a mark. Kill the stone beetle. Alright, fine. You guys kill this stone beetle. It's gonna get up in a moment, so let's just make sure it doesn't. And then everyone kills big swamp slime. Why were there stone beetles and swamp slimes here? Good question. We'll take those things. I'm on it. And um, what do we have around here? We've got water with a sword in it. Just say the word. I mean, sure, I guess. That's a thing that can exist. And this is Topaz. Right, again, not much of an explanation for these things, but fine. So next time around we will go to the center of things and we will murder everything there as is tradition. Until then, have a great day. Bye.